Everything's coming up baking. I love to bake and cook for my family. Yeah. Baking and cooking for my family. 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 Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm about to bake some cookies. Oatmeal, raisin, delicious, soft and chewy oatmeal raisin cookies. Gotta love it. Well, here I am back again with another video. I'm in here baking and cooking for my family. <laughs> and um, I'm making the oatmeal cookies. I'm gonna make the sugar cookies too. But I just wanna talk about that. Club Shay Shay and Monique interview. Just as hot, if not hotter, than Cat Williams. Because Monique, she told it like a T.I. is. I couldn't believe, if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, you know, YouTube, he invite guests, and some guests come over there to be truth telling and telling about what folks doing wrong in the Hollywood. <laughs> but anyway, well, Monique got to talk to him about. Al Sharpton, I was like, my mouth just fell open. I couldn't believe when she said that he offered to, you know, check on her and help her out with her situation when she got blackballed. And apparently it was because of Tyler Perry, who is on tape, like it's all over YouTube now. Everybody can hear his tape telling Monique and her husband that he lied about her being difficult to work with and blah, blah, blah. That's horrible. That just knocks down these so-called special people in your eye that you enjoy and love their um, work as an actor or any other thing that they are involved in because you love what they do. But now when you see who they really are, it just make you go like, what the hell? Just like R. Kelly loved his music, but then when he found out he was doing all this and that, all that goes away forget you know yeah you made some good records but your intention oh my god no more and now back to al sharpton when monique mentioned that al sharpton had was supposed to be help her and then all of a sudden when he went i guess to chat with uh tyler perry the whole thing went tyler perry way next thing monique said he was on a podium telling people fly Taylor. <laughs> he flying a private jet Tyler Perry's private jet. So I guess Al Sharpton loved money and power more than he supposed to be out there allegedly helping folks. So that just turned my feelings about Al Sharpton because I believed in him now. I don't believe in these people. You can't believe in nothing anymore. You These people got they, they humans, yeah, but when you think you see folks in like Tyler Perry, you think he's all good, like his like Monique on the phone call telling him, your Medea character is a true and a real one. Don't don't slip inside. Don't do none of that fake ass chat tell you like a TI is, but in real life Tyler Peller, Tyler Perry is a coward. He ain't nothing like Medea. I know I know that's a fictional character, but he ain't he don't even listen to what his character is so which I heard that that ain't even, ain't even his true character. That is, uh, dang, I can't think of the name of the person that created that character. I heard that Tyler Perry came into a gay club, I believe, allegedly, and took this woman. The guy is a transsexual and took his her ideal and made it his own. He did not invent Medea. That's what I discovered. And all this, you can say a ledge if you want, but I can't think of the person's name, but she is often with T.S. Madison doing skits and stuff. And I believe she's funnier than T.S. Madison. T.S. Madison funny, but she even funnier. I can't think of her name. I don't know why it won't come to mind. I know it because i on her channel watching it. But anyway, come to find out that uh, Al Sharpton, Ain't believable. 
he he for money and power just like all the rest of them and like kevin hart when she talked about what kevin hart ass did i was like oh my god i felt that sock in the stomach you talking about you gonna help somebody and then you go talk to somebody with the money and the power <laughs> like that show power money <laughs> love uh 50 cent song on his being at his shows those are so very creative but anyway back to that but yeah it's all about money and power you got the money and the power i'm on your side which is it sucks so monique had all his help and then on top of that dl hoogley i know i'm flipping and flopping but then on top of that dl hoogley he gonna come and oh he he is shameful i don't like him at all anymore i used to love his his uh his uh com comic comedy somewhat but now, since he was so nasty, you see how people show their true self? He was so nasty about how he felt about how Monique described and t told on him what he did. And he got so angry, he would call her a lying MF. He was disgusting. He could have said that in a whole nother different way and since without being so nasty. Now, his whole character, I know a lot of people probably feel felt the same way. His character is destroyed. You see who he is. He is a nasty one. Then after that uh, little uh, roast, they call him roasting Monique. And then after Monique come back and respond to his roast and tell him all that stuff, he talking about she, she forgive him and carry on. Let's do this. Let's do that. Just come, you know, just come forth and you know be accountable for your action then what did that do nothing he went on another rant they call he had a meltdown a total meltdown and said that i ain't gonna have my woman asking for money from nobody else so be it if you in a difficult if, if tyler perry then caused her to lose millions with the queen lady i watched this lady show beautiful queen i can't think of her name but it's queen in her name of her title her youtube channel She's saying that, uh, dang, I done lost my train of thought. I have to come back. But anyway, D.L. Hoogley, he up there talking about he wouldn't have his woman asking no other man for money. And then they didn't ask. Kevin Hart offered. They accepted his offer, and they paid his ass back, too. Some people don't pay back. But she paid, her and her husband paid back. And they always hating on Monique's husband. Why don't he shut up while he go, why? That's her husband. Some of these I don't even talk like that because they ain't got nobody. You only talk like that about somebody's husband or man or boy because you don't have one. You don't got nobody to live in your bed. There are a whole bunch of you lonely. Be I gonna be in bed all by yourself on Valentine's Day and crying and boo hoo because you ain't got nobody to love, send you flowers and all that other good stuff. Shoot. Me personally, I always had a man. <laughs> Can't be without him. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but anyway. Yep, some of these lonely women gonna be booing her. That's why they hate so bad on her husband, allegedly, because they don't have one that's stand up for them. And you know, that's 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 true, ride or die right there. Forget all the crap. But anyway, yeah, back to DL. But he um he accusing her of all kind of stuff, saying this and that. But she got the receipts. All he got is some old stupid ass comments. That he think is cute, but he didn't totally destroy it to me and my mind. Anyway, I don't like him anymore because of how he responded so nasty and rude. He could have said something differently and, you know, to uh, defend himself. He didn't have to be so nasty and so disgusting. Ugh. I don't like any of that. But uh, anyway, I know a lot of other people probably feel the same way. You could have did that different. But anyway, she did D.L. Hoogley. Now, Monique is invited on the Cat William tour. Yay! I guess they really hating on that now. Because now she be, be going to be with Cat now. And I hear Cat pay well. And he is a great giver. I like Cat William. I love Monique, too. Monique has a beautiful personality. Her laugh, her smile, her jokes. And D.L. Hoogley, she ain't even funny. She's funnier than you. I can tell you that right now. She way I would have her rather I have her than you any old day. Because her jokes is more funny. And she's funny and talented. And everything. Just like she said with some more. Said that she was going to be the headliner on the Queens of County. 
because Monique is bubbly and happy and it's infectious and people feel that and not saying that uh, some more though but Monique is a little bit more energetic like she said that's what that is bubbly and infectious and everybody feel that love from her and everybody else ain't nothing but a hater because you wish you had that personality and that charm you ain't everybody ain't got no charm and especially DL ain't got no charm he nasty but uh and Kevin Hart allegedly he ain't no good either because uh all them people she talked about that claim they were going to help, as soon as Tyler Perry got involved, they dismissed her. Like, Tyler Perry, I don't like him anymore either. Soon all his mess will come to light. That guy that was talking about him saying that somebody did this and everybody saying they all know it's Tyler Perry. Allegedly, that is the rapist. Allegedly, that the guy is accusing him of doing to him as, you know. So, hey, whenever he come back, I guess that'll be the end of that, but somebody all they people mostly care about is power and money and who got the most control stuff so as you can see that's kind of that is what's going on they give somebody money like he gave td jakes a million dollars where you give him a million dollars for you have to tell me you don't pay people for free but you wanted monique and her to go around and work for free promoting the movie that she won an oscar for and y'all disrespect her she won the one the oscar and then don't let me get started on uh, Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, it's jealous. She jealous. Uh, uh, um, Whoopi. She she jealous of Whoopi. But even though Oprah did a good job in the color purple, Whoopi is a nasty, terrible. I mean, not Whoopi. Even though Oprah Winfrey did a good job in color purple. Ever since all that, Oprah Winfrey been a horrible person. Alleged, that's what I'm hearing. She nasty like D.L. Hughley. Jealous, hateful, evil spirit. And, um, allegedly, that's what folks saying in the street. Jealous, hateful, evil spirit. But you, if you see through your eyes and witness her, her, uh, behavior, like Monique said, she was supposed to be in the butler. She supposed to be in this movie and that movie. And then here come Oprah. I want to do it. And then she said, since she got more, status and money and power they get a job to oprah oh sad ass allegedly <laughs> but yep monique she tell it like it is and she came on uh his show on shay shay show and told on them and told about them people how they behave when it come to money and power and tyler perry offer them money and they be quiet and whole folks that's what ain't gonna be ever accountability Black people, it ain't no different than anybody else. Yeah, a lot of folks, it, black people, all races had a good people, and then all races had a people that suck. And uh, and you can see a lot of black folks, rather that money and power, than uh being accountable and telling the truth, and just you know being good people. Like she talked about, uh, what that girl name that ain't even funny. Tiffany Haddish, yes, the one that had made that disgusting skit with, um, uh, damn, I can't think of his name, the, Through the Eyes of a Pedophile, that was the name of the skit, and, and, uh, Monique mentioned her, how she dissed and, and, and uh, made fun of her and her husband in an interview, uh, I forgot the name of the interview, y'all watch the Shay Shay Show, you don't know what I'm talking about, but she said that, um, if Tiffany actually did have a husband like mine, she talked about Monique's husband. And Monique was telling her that if she did have a husband like hers, she wouldn't have these DUIs and she wouldn't be appearing in folks' eyes to be grooming children. Uh-huh. Y'all remember when that lawsuit was out when those kids was saying that, accusing her of sexually of molesting them and stuff? nasty just nasty and then in her comedy you see her sticking her tongue out talking about messing with young kids please honey a ledge a ledge you gotta say ledge when you talk about these folks like this but the facts is out there you gotta go just see for yourself the facts is there but you just say a ledge okay clean it up just say a ledge but the facts is there <laughs> but yeah monique told on these folks oprah tyler dl kevin hart uh, uh, um, what I just said that child name Tiffany had his ass and then she's saying what she got paid for the movie and how they wanted her to work free but they didn't want to do shit for free and then jealous ass here I hear tell that 
uh, Oprah ain't nothing but jealous, a jealous old ass. But, uh, yeah, but anyway, Tyler Perry, hateful, jealous, and, and even more, even though you got all that money, you, you, you're disgusted by somebody that's seen through other folks' eyes as much more preferred than you. Yes. Monique any day. Love that woman's personality. She could be in any movie and, and make it beautiful. And uh, did y'all see her last movie? It was a horror movie, but it was good. Monique is a great actress, comedian. Forget you, DL. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. We know comedy. And then I, I, I love to go to a show with her with Kat and see her perform on stage. Uh, yeah, I spend my money on all that. All that. Never on DLs, Kevin Hart's, Tyler Perry. I don't know. These folks, I don't know what's going to happen to y'all, but I hope something happened. Well, I don't know. Folks going to be folks. The world, you know, is is got people in it that ain't good, that ain't accountable, that ain't going to uh, account for nothing they do. They just want money and power. I'm glad we got 50 because 50. Oh, she did mention Tyron P. Henson, too. She did all that boo-hooing. Then went crying back to Oprah. Told him, I'm so sorry. That's what I heard. That's what I'm hearing. That's what Monique was saying on the show. And I'm like, for real? And she was crying about not getting paid. And it was Oprah not paying. And then you're going to go back, kiss her ass, because you thought about how they did uh, Monique. She she not worried about her pocketbook. So she rather kiss butt and be not accountable for her actions and go get the money instead of letting people know what really going on. Boy, these folks is just, I, I told you, well, Taraji Pinson is not my favorite. I told you in the color purple, she can never take the place of Suge Knight from the original. To me, she is not a singer. She, her best movie to me ever, she ever was in was her role in uh, Baby Boy, I think it was, that was it. And then uh, all that other stuff. I just don't like her character. Vivica Fox is my favorite. Queen Latifah, Monique, some more, Cat, and uh, who else? Um, some good uh, comedians. It's a lot of them. I can't think of their names now, but the ones I mentioned, that's who I did. The rest of these fools can kick rocks because, uh, well, allegedly these fools, alleged fools, alleged Fools can allegedly kick rocks. Okay, you got to say that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm in here baking these cookies and cooking for my family. And I guess that's all I got to say. I have been watching that Shay Shay show. And he have plenty of clips. I'm finna clip up all my videos too. Everybody on the day trying to do that 10 million. A lot of people I know have achieved it. But you got to get 10 million watch hours for a short to get paid. 4,000 still for uh regular videos that I hear they told me on my channel I gotta do eight minutes so y'all wonder why my videos be so long I would love I see some people that don't do no eight minutes they get paid three four five minutes see it's live what's the separatism I, I, I'm, I got that these separate rules on YouTube yeah I'll tell y'all about it they got my channel out there in the Bermuda Triangle but that's okay because I have the few people that enjoy me for real, that I support my people that I enjoy, that really truly in, 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 uh, enjoy my channel and come back. I got a couple friends on there, and that's all that matter. Family, they like they like family, my YouTube family. So I do got some people, regardless of YouTube, you YouTube, putting me out somewhere where you think they know I'm undiscoverable, unloved. I'm loved. I am so loved. More than y'all love. Hey. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna go. On. I'm thinking about going to TikTok. Cause I see older people on TikTok. What is it? TikTok. I do got an Instagram. Do I got an Instagram? Yeah, I got Instagram. I got uh what that other thing? I don't do Twitter no more. Uh I got an Instagram and I do, and if I do a TikTok, I'll let y'all know. And I did well anyway, let me get out here and talk to y'all later because I'm tired now. Let me bake my cookies. These are the raw cookies. I'm about to put them in the oven. Okay, I just pulled the cookies out the oven. Sugar cookies. No sprinkles of my choice, but they still are sprinkled. Delicious sugar cookies. Full of butter and sugar. Mm-hmm. You know they do. My two little hearts. Oh, I bake till my heart's content. Boom, boom, boom. And here go the uh delicious 
oatmeal raisin cookies. Three, six, nine, twelve. It's fifteen of those. Fifteen oatmeal raisins. Delicious, soft and chewy, ooey gooey, and fifteen sugar cookies. Yeah, those crispy edges. Yum yum. That's all that good butter and sugar. Everything's coming up baking. I love to bake and cook for my family. Yeah. Baking and cooking for my family. Baking and cooking for my family. Baking and cooking for my family. Baking and cooking for my family.